Okay guys, so in this one we're gonna add a video here and we're gonna show you a little bit about buttons too. Um, so first off, we wanna grab the actual video. So I'm using a video on YouTube that is for coding for entrepreneurs, um, but you can use this for a lot of videos. So go into share, go to embed, and you can just grab that standard 560 by 315 code, just copy that. Uh, we're gonna go in here and in our container, we're going to make a new one, a class called row. And then we want to do div class span six, uh, span four, and pull right. Enter in that embed code. Make sure this row comes out here. And then we want to do a div class span eight pull left and right under there. Save that. Go back into Chrome. Do a quick little refresh here. And there we go. So now we have the landing page information and the video. And if we do resize it actually does show it and then we want to change that button so this button color gray doesn't look that great on that background so you can actually go in uh, to bootstrap here f for the buttons default buttons this is what they are so uh, the easiest way to kind of like if we wanted to do black as a black button we could go btn inverse like that um, save it and go back into chrome do a quick little refresh. Doesn't look too bad. Um, but I would say a good one for this would be probably the button primary. Um, and so we'll use that, save it, okay. Do a quick little refresh, very good. Okay, cool, so uh, that part's done. And now we wanna get rid of, uh, or change the navigation here a little bit. Um, and also, I don't want our name, well, we don't want it to be bootstrap. We actually want it over here. We want to kind of flip-flop those. Um, so we will do that. But first thing we want to do is we're actually going to pull this nav bar out of here. And save it. And then under your templates, you're going to add a new one, new file called navbar.html. And then here we're going to go to include navbar.html and go into navbar, paste what we just took out. And then we're going to change bootstrap to um, MVP landing. Okay, do a quick little refresh. MVP landing's there. The navbar's still there. Okay, cool, cool. So I actually want to pull this over on the left, pull left, and then we are going to pull right on that one. Let's see if that works. Uh, part of it did. So let's see, maybe we have something in here that is making it pull float right, and we do. See that? So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to grab this copy that, go into custom, and we're just going to say float left. Quick little refresh here. And now our MVP landing is over there. Let's actually change the color while we're at it. Let's change it to gray. Quick little refresh there. Now you can actually see it just like all these other ones. You can actually see it. It's not hidden hidden away from view. Cool, so now we have most of it set up and ready to go. Anyways, we have our MVP landing, we have all of our links, we can actually get rid of all of these links because most of them we don't need. So let's just get rid of those for now. Quick little refresh, home is there, and there we go. So getting a lot closer to something here.